I'm Casey Lackey for Innovative Sugarworks, and today I'm going to show you guys how to cold carve a square cake. The benefit of doing this is you can get those nice sharp edges in buttercream, but you have to use a meringue buttercream. I'm using Italian, this also works with Swiss, but something that won't set up hard in the fridge will be very difficult to, co to cold carve. So, as you can see, I've kind of already built out and crumb coated my cake and kind of given it a full ice, um, and you want to bell from the bottom up, so you've got something to shave off from the top. And then I've got my bench scraper, some hot water. I always like to dry if I can. You just go in and you're just shaving that excess buttercream off. switch directions so I'm always going from the corner towards the center. That way you won't break off a big chunk of your buttercream as you come to the end when you're doing the bulk of the carving like I am now. And I do all of my cakes on foam pour boards that I've cut slightly larger than the cake so I can use it as my square line on the bottom. overbuilt this one so you guys could see how the carving goes, but normally you can just barely build it out. And then I'm using my bench scraper as my square edge so that I know that I'm perfectly straight with my sides. And so then you'll just kind of continue going on all four sides until you get it nice and square. move on to the next side and start going all the way around. your sides all squared up, nice sharp corners and nice sharp edges. Now we can start going for the top. So be sure you've got a level with you uh, as you start doing this because you want to make sure that if you level it now then you don't really have to worry about when you're stacking your cakes being level because you know they're already right. So same thing, you start going working from the outside towards the center. Just scrape, scrape, scrape and away. check my height because you can actually carve down a lot of height off these. You can really make the buttercream tall. I know I want this one to be about four and a half to five inches. So I've got a little bit more to pull off of it. Go for four and a four and three quarters. of cold carving is you know trying to get sharp square edges when the buttercream is warm or when it's not a setting buttercream is hard <laughs> and leads to tears so i like to do it this way because i'm like oh i can just keep shaving and if you need to build it back up you just add a little bit more buttercream put it back in the fridge um you want to let it go for if you're doing a full coat um to start about an hour in the fridge so usually like by the time i get done torting filling all of my cakes my first one is ready to go to be carved down. 
or you can leave it overnight and have this be like the first thing you do before you cover it with fondant. So now that I've got it the height that I want, I'll start looking to make sure it's level. So I always do my square cakes across the diagonal. And this side is, is higher. And that's pretty good. So mostly this side is what I'm going for. Scrape a little, check it. So then I'll go in with some hot water, smooth everything out. And then all this leftover buttercream can just be re-whipped and used again. a little holes to fill some buttercream just right there and then one right there but other than that this guy is ready to go and from here you can cover it in fondant if you were just doing a square buttercream cake you can take it from here um, or you can panel it which is what I prefer to do with square cake so I'm gonna pop this guy back in the fridge and then we'll do something else with it <laughs>